All right, when dealing with solutions, you're gonna be coming across colligative properties. And one of the colligative properties that you're gonna see is freezing point depression. And that says in a solution, solute particles interfere with attractive forces among the solvent particles. And this prevents solution into entering a solid state. So essentially what they're saying is, um, because, a, because a, a liquid has like all those extra particles in it to make a solution and it's not a pure solvent, those get in the way of the, of the intermolecular forces that make it a solid, a solid, like the hydrogen bonding, the um, dipole-dipole interaction, and the London dispersion forces. Those extra particles that are there kind of get in the way and they actually have to like lower the freezing point to get the, push those particles out. So it'll be a pure solvent when it's actually frozen. Um, Freezing point states that the particles are no longer have sufficient kinetic energy to overcome intermolecular attractive forces. So when those um, when those particles are there, those those attractive forces are not necessary. So like they're going to have to push those particles out so they can actually have um, those inner inner particle attractive forces present. So let's actually talk about um, different substances and their freezing points. So we're talking about water, which is a universal solvent, and we know that water. Uh, freezes typically at zero degrees Celsius at, at normal freezing point. Now for every molal of substance I'm going to put within that water, that pure substance, it's actually going to drop the temperature, uh, the freezing point temperature, by 1.86 degrees Celsius. Um, benzene uh, freezes at 5.5 degrees Celsius, a little bit higher than water, and for every, for every mole of substance that you have for kilogram of solution, it's going to, the boiling point is going to drop even more, 5.12 degrees Celsius, and so on and so forth. Um, so if you were to look at this, this is very similar to boiling point elevation, but um, this, the formula is exactly the same, but there's some slight differences. So our, the change in temperature of the freezing point is equal to the constant that we had discussed um, times the molality of the solution that we're dealing with times the Van Hoff factor, and the Van Hoff factor is how much the particle actually separates in solution. So if you're talking about ionic, ionic compounds, um, they separate um, into solution depending on how many particles they have or how many ions they have in that, uh, but molecular compounds don't at all. So let's, let's actually put that in action. All right, so what is the freezing point of a 0 0.029 molal um, of NaCl aqueous solution? So we know it's aqueous, and that aqueous tells us that our solvent is water. So we're going to say our delta T, our change in temperature of the freezing point, is going to equal to the constant of water, which is 1.86 degrees Celsius for every molal. And the molal solution is 0 0.029. And because it's NaCl, I know it's ionic, this, um, for every one molal, it's going to actually separate into two substances, Na plus and Cl minus. So we're actually multiplying, multiplying this by two. We have two substances when it's in solution. So when you multiply all these together, you get negative, or sorry, you get 0.11 degrees Celsius. Um, and we're going to say, all right, our original uh, boiling, or sorry, freezing point is zero. We're going to get, it's going to lower by 0.11. And so our new boiling point, I mean, sorry, freezing point is 0.11 degrees Celsius, negative, because uh, it dropped that much. So you can actually like talk about, uh, when you think about when it snows outside, and the reason that you put salt on the roads, the reason you put salt on the roads is it's actually going to lower the freezing point. So there's not going to be sheets of ice um, on your driveway or on the roads or on the sidewalks. So you, that's why they use I, um, salt. And they actually use calcium chloride, typically, in the re which is actually better than sodium chloride because this actually breaks up into three particles, so it drops the freezing point three times as much as a, as um, a, another solute would. So um, for this is an example of freezing point depression.